Alright guys, what's up doc? First of all, thank you so much guys. We are more than 1500 now. I'm very happy to show you guys this new series about Looney Tunes on my YouTube channel. I will run this game for the first time in English because on my YouTube channel is my is the main language but when I was a kid I grew up with this game in my main language which is Italian and of course I will do another run in Italian but if you are interested you can comment this video with your main language and I will do the run with that language someday this will be just the first episode, but I will do so many of them. If you want to suggest me some Looney Tunes game or some other game to do, uh, do it in the comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned up. Here I am, Pismo Beach. Hey, wait a minute. This doesn't look like Pismo Beach. I probably should have turned right at Albuquerque and... Ooh, look at the size of this carrot juice dispenser. Yikes. person who lives in the silo will tell me where I'm at and how to get out of being at here. Come right in. How do you do? My name is Merlin and I'm a sorcerer. Yeah? Really? A sorcerer? Come on, let me see a sorcerer. Huh? Please, please? Of course. Anything to oblige a guest. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's a good trick, my old Goyle. Can you do this one? That gave him a hobby, but I still ain't nearer to my natural habitat. Eh, uh, sorry to interrupt this entertaining demonstration, but uh, can you tell me where I am? It seems that you are lost in time, my dear. Here, it's nowhere. Nowhere? And do you know how I could get back to, uh, somewhere? Of course I know. You must go from one era to another and find symbols like this. They will open you new locations and will progressively lead you back to present time. All right. Listen carefully, Rabbit. Get ten of these objects to receive a clock symbol. That's it for now. Bye! Yeah, goodbye! While you're running, try the roll action. It can be used as an attack against enemies. Use 
the jump or kick action to defeat some enemies. Combine both actions for some other one. If you can't hurt an enemy when he's facing you, try to kick his behind. It could work. You could also try to tire him out first. When he stops, kick his behind, bunny. <laughs> Explosive objects like TNT boxes without injuries use the HEARS action to softly land on it. objects like mallets to bust an enemy, but do it fast. It works for a short time. on some enemies to reach inaccessible objects or ground. You can pick up objects and throw them to enemies. You can also pick them up Move them and drop them somewhere else. <laughs> you can move some objects using the push action. They can be used as a step to reach a too high ground or object.
To avoid awakening someone, use the sneak action. It can also be used on fragile grounds. Jump and press the dive action over a rabbit hole to get under the ground. To exit, reach a hole and jump. Pick this one up to start your quest. It opens the Stone Age era. Get in and there, choose one of the opened entrances. Visit all of them and get back all the hidden clocks they contain. Great! Thanks, Moyle. Anything else? Uh, yes. Of course, picking up carrots will raise up your energy. That's it for now. We'll probably meet again somewhere in time. Time traveling is one of my favorite hobbies. I'll teach more later, time traveler. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, my... Collecting symbols. Well, why not? After all, they laughed at the man when he discovered the penicillin. <laughs> Today's hunt is Wabbit. Yeah, Wabbit, Wabbit, yeah, yeah. Hey! What's up, Doc? Wabbit, Wabbit! Yeah, Wabbit, Wabbit, yeah, yeah.
I really hope guys that you like this first episode about Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. If you do, give me a like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. See you guys in the comment. Bye.